commonly known as the GCHQ. It's an intelligence and security organization responsible for signals, intelligence and information assurance to the government, armed forces and the United Kingdom. Based in a donut in the suburbs of Cheltenham, it's responsible for the country's Secretary of State, Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs, but is not part of the Foreign Office. It is where many different agencies are working within. And in 2003, Edward Snowden revealed that the agency was part of a process of collecting online telephone data via Tempora program, which is part of the UK government. The GCHQ's legal basis is enshrined in the Intelligence Services Act 1994 and has three different sections. The Prime Minister nominates cross-party members to an Intelligence and Security Committee to then scrutinise and put the GCHQ to the test with the Justice and Security Act 2013 to provide further access in, to investigatory powers. Then there's the Joint Threat Research Intelligence Group, which is a unit of the government's communication headquarters at GCHQ, the British Intelligence Agency, which is linked to the MI5 and the MI6. The intelligence of the JTRIG was revealed as part of a global surveillance disclosures in documents leaked by the NSA's Edward Snowden. UK agencies that JTRIG says it cooperates with include the Metropolitan Police, the MI5, the NCA, the NSA, the HMRC, the NPOIU. It's also involved in what it calls missions, with various other agencies described as customers, including the Bank of England, the Department of Children, School and Families. Info weapons held or being deployed by JTRIG can be used to send bulk emails, spoof SMM messages, impersonate Facebook posts for individuals or entire countries, artificially increase traffic to a website, and change the outcome of online polls. These are just some of the things that the JTRIG and GCHQ have been involved in over the years.